Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the wild turkey rare breed and I think it's a cask strength from America and it's also a 5 to 12 year old bottle. So a very very well matured wild turkey whiskey and that is from Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. And let me show you a few pictures of maturation of wild turkey and the maturation of wild turkey is a bit special as they take a lot of interest in maturing the wild turkey whiskey. And um, yeah, let's start how they, they do yeah, maturing differently. First of all, they take really, really, really heavily charred casks. So alligator char, number three char, I think number three is the biggest one, yeah. And after that, there's the alligator char. So they charred so hard that the, the, um, the surface area of the cask inside really breaks and looks like an alligator skin. That's why it's called alligator char. So there are breaks in there and the whiskey can get into the breaks and really has a lot of contact with the charcoal of the cask. And the charcoal is like active charcoal that gets rid of unwanted flavor from the spirit of yeah, the distillery. So it makes it a bit more mild because these unwanted flavors tend to be the, yeah, the, the sharp taste. That's why yeah, the heavily uh, charred casks or the Tennessee whiskey where you have charcoal filtering, uh, they are a bit milder and that's what yeah, Americans tend to like. Yeah, what else do they do? They do also have a big of a strong intensity. So um, six to 12 years gives you a lot of intensity, but also the distillery of wild turkey doesn't fill with as high filling strength as the others. Let me explain that to you how that process actually does work. You have the distillation process, you come out with a mixture of alcohol and water, and you give that in percentage wise. So you water down to a certain level, which is your filling level. Then you put it into the cask. It loses or gains alcohol. In America, you can also gain alcohol if you store it in a yeah, warm enough place, like a tent to in a high warehouse, small insulation in Kentucky, then you have yeah, plenty of heat and then the alcohol level rises. And if you store it at the bottom, the alcohol level drops and then you take it out, you reduce it to uh, yeah, uh, bottling strength, what they call it, which is the strength that you have in bottle with clear water and that's your whiskey. So what uh, the distillery of uh, wild turkey does is they water down after the distillation more. Would you then think all oh, gives you a less strong whiskey? No, because then if you water take more water in front in front of the maturation, you have to do less water after the maturation. And if you the water after the maturation has no flavor, the water that you add in front of the maturation has to go through the wood. That's what you actually call it at Wild Turkey, taking the water through the wood or the oak, taking the water through the oak, and that gives you flavor inside the alcohol and inside the water. You have to water down less afterwards, so you got a more intense whiskey. That is why, why, why wild turkey whiskies are more intense. Um, the negative point is when you water down before bar barreling, then you do have to have more barrels because you have more liquid to store for the same amount of liquid to fill into the bottle, but the liquid tastes stronger. Yeah, so that is the wild turkey yeah, secret of having more intense whiskies. A little bit of background behind wild turkey. It was actually found in 1869 in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. I can show you a few pictures here. And it was actually um, founded by the Rippey brothers. And uh, it was actually not called wild turkey distillery. It was actually called the Rippey distillery. So yeah, uh, they changed it after a legendary wild turkey hunt. Unfortunately, I didn't see any tur turkeys or wild turkeys out there when I visited the distillery and I think that was 2015. Um, we only say I uh, saw turkey vultures, <laughs> very ugly birds. Mm. Oh, ooh, that is a, that is an intense American uh, Kentucky straight bourbon. 
That is an intense Kentucky straight bourbon. Strangely enough, it has a good amount of sweetness, but it doesn't have that like, yeah, popcorn-y, yeah, caramel, vanilla, candy style. It's more of a settled down honey type of um, sweetness. So it's not as forward sweetness, but it has a bloomy, honey, oaky type of sweetness. Mm. 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 Oh. Did I mention that it was cask strength? Yes. Mm. Easily, you can add water to that. I didn't, I know that, that it has 58.4% ABV, that's 116, 17 proof. So, whew, hmm, it has a lot of, it doesn't feel like such a, it doesn't have that much of a Kentucky straight bourbon feeling to it. It strangely enough has a lot of like zesty orange, um, but a lot of roundness as well. So you do feel it's an American whiskey where you have a lot of round, not of sharp edges. You do have the American oak that's much more yeah, easy and pleasing on the tongue. No tannins, a little bit of a, it has so much oak that it, it feels a little bit like you have a little bit of a, a bittersweet touch to it, but it doesn't, it's um, maybe a little bit of umami taste, like, like a bit of a, yeah tobacco style leathery but leathery always has that negative touch to it this time i do love it because it's just so laid back it feels like a orange peel orange zest with a good amount of sweetness in it a little bit of a honey touch to it mm. Mm. also a little bit of a nutty note to it but a, a really after you've had it in your mouth a little bit of a while, a really mm, roasted, lightly roasted, good mm, matured nuttiness in it. Because if you have fresh nuts, they tend to be bitter. If you have like really good matured nuts, they all the bitterness is gone or I don't know, decomposed. I don't know how nuts work. And um, yeah, well matured nuts, a bit of leather, a bit of tobacco, um, good amount of sweetness, round one. So, uh, you feel that it's a oh this camera a very old um, old Kentucky straight bourbon. Mm -hmm. I had this whiskey now three times because I did the German take twice, so I had to retake the English one now, and um, it's growing on you. I do like it more than I did like it the, the first two times. I did like it the first two times, but now I, I really do do love it because it just it's a wholesome whiskey. It's very well matured, very big. Um, I think we gave it a, uh, at our last anniversary, our 25th anniversary, we gave it a award because it's such a, a good whiskey. Yeah. So wild turkey, rare breed. It's definitely a rare breed. Mm, yeah. If you happen to live in the Netherlands, have a look at whiskey.com and you can actually buy that whiskey there. It's around 40 euros currently. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.